Hey team, welcome to Gear Up and on today's first ever lure breakdown we're going to look at the new Zedman 2.5 inch prawn. These are a dynamite little lure. Myself and Amit have been able to use these up in the canals and also last week I got joined from Justin from Tackle Tactics and we drifted to flats and had an absolute ball. Let's check out these lures now and I'll roll on a few cool clips. Check them out. As you can see, these are a dynamite looking little lure and they will suit a lot of species around anywhere from anything in the estuaries and I would say light offshore, uh, snapper, sweet lip and pretty much anything that sees it will jump all over them. So I'm going to run you through the two ways that I've fished them so far. I invite you to write a comment down on how you would fish them in the comment section. This is how we've used them and they've worked really well. So. First trip, me and Emmett, you might have seen in our first episode, we drove up the coast and we stayed up at the Sunshine Coast and fished the canals. So we rigged them on a 1 16th size 1 hook on 1 to 3 kilo setups. We had, I believe, the Black Mamba from TT Rods and the Akuma Epixors, size 2000. And we run 8 pound litre. I know brim guys run a lot lighter than that, but we didn't lose any fish and I don't think they were leader shy on the day. So typical canal fishing, we were just throwing them into shady spots, up against pontoons, uh, also, you know, running them on the poles there and just, you know, just typical canal fishing. If we would spot fish, we'd quickly skip them up along there. And what I did notice that every fish that seen them ate them. We didn't see heaps of fish that weekend. I know the canals can fire, but it was a little bit quiet and we did have to work for our fish. Our standout colour was motor oil for that trip and, and we just had a little bit of procure here and there. But what I picked up from it is we were able to skim it in with that light jig head. They'd float down nice and flat and then the fish would jump all over them. Or like you've seen in last week's episode, uh, towards the end there, Emmett just threw one in. <laughs> He rung the bell, he hit the pontoon, made a hell of a noise, and it just sunk down. Ten seconds later, it, it must have just picked it off the bottom and he was on. So, worked really well in canals, and it would probably be a staple of mine if I start fishing canals a lot more. Second up, I was joined last Friday by Justin, like I was saying, and we went and fished the flats, something I have not done in ages. And again, we rigged nice and light, one to three kilo rods. Actually, we used the same setup, so he's got the same one as me. So, when we were on the flats, and you're hearing some of this footage, and it's why I haven't been able to make an episode out of it, it was really, really windy. Yeah, there he is. I was just sitting on the bottom. And the mics weren't set up properly. So, up on the flats, we got up there, oh, I would say an hour before high. And with that wind, we'll just be able to drift over these massive long flats and just make long casts and, and work the lure back. Justin did extremely well because it's probably a, a lot of the fishing he does in the kayak, but a lot more than myself. And he absolutely schooled me, which was pretty cool to have a bit of banter on the boat as we were going. But he had the technique right. You know, there's, some people get a feel from different lures and, you know, Whereas I like using hard bodies, chasing jacks and barrows and stuff like that. It was really cool to watch someone like Justin that does a lot of this sort of fishing and try and pick up what he's doing and replicating it. You know, I've been out with Justin a heap of times, went up doing the same thing with slim swims and I just straight away I'm like, give me exactly what you're using so I can replicate it and have fun and catch fish. So yeah, a little bit off topic, but back to where we were going. We we're up on the up on the flats making super long casts and just bringing the lure back as the boat drifted onto it. But the key to that day was listening to what's around you. Justin jumped jumped onto it straight away and you could hear brim slurping or hitting garfish or little, little jelly prawns. And literally all you had to do was turn, cast towards where they were. Like it was very visual 
and in no less than a foot of water, he cast to them and they were on it straight away. You know, as Justin tells me, when they're up on the flats, they're there, they're eating, they're angry, they want, you know, they want to get into something to eat. So I believe it was a one eighth size one hook again, and just rig them nice and straight. A little bit of sardine procure, that's a little secret, you didn't hear it from me. Long cast and then, yep, and just pick them off from where you can hear the bait getting hit or something like that. So it worked really, really well on the flats. Uh, you know, look, this is a lure where I think it's going to work everywhere, whether you're fishing rock bars, uh, weedy flats like you were, canals, offshore, in, inshore reefs, you'll be able to lightly weight these down before sweet lip and snapper. And I think a heap of fish will jump straight onto this. So like I said before, write in the comments below on how you think you would fish the two and a half inch prawn from Zedman. Give me some scenarios, I might pick them up myself and use them and get out there and have some fun. That's what it's all about. Testing new gear is fun and I know these new two and a half inch prawns are absolute dynamite. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown and we'll catch you on the water. Another course fish, that one. Heard the slurp, through the cast, then I was messing around and he just ate it. He was eating it nicely. He was really good. Without any so that's a nice bridge with the floods. Knee deep water. Yes, one! Yes. yes! He's on a ray! <laughs> Rip bait? That's a real bait. Rip so bait? Should just course it a little bit? Yep, and just let him eat it, eh? Oh, good fish! That's awesome. Oh, it's Grandpa. Same spot where you got yours. Grandpa. There you go, prawns. We go. all love a feed of prawns. <laughs> Good call. That's my first fish of the day.